Uh, speaking to police as well as tribal elders, they confirmed that at least uh, 21 people, including a child, are now confirmed killed, and at least 33 people are wounded. Uh, this was a mosque. Uh, in, in Khos City that was used as a voter registration center. So a lot of villagers had, had uh, come to register to vote in the upcoming parliamentary elections. It's also prayers time. It's still not clear if it was a suicide attacker detonated, uh, detonating his explosives or if explosives were uh, placed uh, already. Uh, now, it comes at a time when government in the international community here is trying to encourage Afghans to walk up to the voter registration centers and um, change their own tomorrow. Uh, at the same time, what we see is a clear weakness and failure on, on the part of the Afghan government, as well as its international allies, in terms of preventing uh, these uh, deadly strings of attacks across the country, which are actually uh, destroying uh, families and depriving Afghans of their breadwinners. And it also creates uh, a very deep sense of uh, insecurity, and Afghans continue to lose the very little faith and confidence that they have in the Afghan National Security Forces. And this incident comes just a week after another deadly attack in Host, in which nearly 40 people were killed. Why are we seeing increased violence there? I think what you've seen is uh, some sort of a competition between Daesh as well as the Taliban in terms of who can be more brutal. But you're also seeing uh, a very clear effort to prevent Afghans from uh, choosing their leaders at any level uh, with uh, ballots. People are very keen still here, uh, both militants as well as other uh, elements in the Afghan society in terms of ruling the society with bullets, because that's how they've got used to, to things. Uh, at the same time, a spokesman for the Taliban, Zabiullah Mujahid's message uh, media here in saying this is not us, this is clearly an enemy trying to defame us. Now, usually they would call uh, the, uh, an enemy to a group like Daesh, and it will still be very surprising if the group actually uh, would have carried out this sort of an attack, then that's even more worrying, the fact that they can now strike in many, many different areas in Afghanistan. It's no more eastern Afghanistan. And we keep on hearing from Afghan officials as well as international officials here that the Taliban are beaten, that the Daesh is beating, and that they can no more pose a threat. And yet again, they continue to really uh, cause these very deadly and tragic incidents.